What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the perfect three ball bag for league. Stay tuned after the intro. All right, so with the league season starting up, I, I got the age old question. What three balls should I take to league? I get that question asked more than just about any other question and today i have for you guys the best possible three ball league bag if you guys like this video make sure to give me a like a subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date every time i drop a new video 75 percent of my viewers are not subscribed so please guys hit that subscribe button as always if you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in my videos head on over to logoinfusion.com use promo code lewis l-u-i-s and it'll get you 20 percent off your entire order when it comes to deciding what three balls you're going to take to league it can be very difficult at times you have so many options especially for someone like me i get at least one of every single release so I, I i mean i have 30 40 balls drilled so deciding which ones i'm going to take to league can be a challenge so the first ball that comes out of my bag for league is the desert tank it features the friction plus pearl microcell cover and the flux core which in 15 pounds has an rg of 2.57 and a differential of 0 0.015 so this ball doesn't flare a whole lot and because of that, it makes it a very good game one ball for me in league. I can throw it into the friction and it's never going to overreact. The next ball in my three ball bag for league is the Jackal Flash. It features the Infusion HV Pearl Reactive cover. So the cover wants it to be long and angular. And then it has the Predator V2 core, which in 15 pounds has a RG of 2.47, a differential of 0.054, and an intermediate differential of 0.015. Now, all that means is that the engine in the ball wants it to get into a roll early and it flares a considerable amount. Because of the cover though, it's gonna wanna push it nice and far down lane, create a considerable amount of angle. I like the flash on the fresh when the desert tank doesn't allow me to play in that like seven, eight, nine area. So anytime the tank, the desert tank isn't there in that area, I'll go to the Jack of Flash and move into like just left of the track. So for me, I'm looking at around 12, 13 at the arrows, getting it out to like seven, eight down lane. The Jackal Flash, since I've had it, I've thrown it in 10 out of 11 games in league so far. The only game I didn't throw it was when I threw the Desert Tank for game one. The Flash is a really good option for me on the fresh, but it's also a very good option for me after the Desert Tank. So once I get too steep for the Desert Tank where I start to week 10, the Jackal Flash can uh, go into play there also if I really need to bend it. So I gave you guys two options for the fresh and one and then the flash can throw in the fresh and I can throw in transition. The third ball in my bag, I exclusively only throw this ball um, like late, like end of game two, maybe even into game three. Sometimes I never even get to this ball just depending on who I'm bowling with and how much traffic there is on the lane. The third ball on my list is the Supra. The Supra features the Infusion Pearl Reactive cover, which is a weaker version uh, of the same cover that's on the Jackal Flash. Now by weaker, all I mean is that it handles the oil a little bit less versus the Jackal Flash, meaning the Jackal Flash will tend to be a little bit earlier and handle the larger volumes of oil versus the Supra. The Supra has the high impulse core, which has an RG of 2.57, which is extremely high. It's gonna wanna push it really far down the lane and a differential of 0.050. So it's gonna flare a considerable amount, but it's gonna be nice and long and create that, that nice angular shape that we're looking for once we get into game three or game four of league. Let me know down below in the comments which three balls you guys take to league and if you agree or disagree with my list. I'll take you guys out on the lane now so you can see the perfect three ball bag in action. Thank you guys for joining me as we talk about the perfect three ball bag for league. Now. I'm gonna show you guys about 15 shots with each ball, the Jack of Flash, the Desert Tank, and the Supra. My goal for this video is to show you guys what three balls best match up together to give you guys the best chance to score in league. For me, I like the Desert Tank and the Jack of Flash as a game one option because they're the most different in the lineup, meaning I can play significantly straighter with the Desert Tank, like play more up the boards around that seven, eight, nine area, and I can also start with the Jackal Flash and shape it a little bit. Now, the reason I would start with the Flash over the Desert is if the Desert is not in play, like if the gutter isn't hooking, then I would start with the Flash. 
but if the gutter was hooking, I would 100% start with the desert tank. As you can see, even from these first couple shots, the, the gutter isn't hooking as much as I would like them to. So if we were bowling for score right now, I would more than likely be starting in the Jackal Flash. I really like the versatility of the Jackal Flash because it's a really good game one option if the desert tank isn't there. And if the desert tank is there, the Jackal Flash can be a really good go-to if the Supra isn't enough, but I still need to shape the ball more. These two balls as a game one option are an absolute home run for me, and I think they'll be an absolute home run for you as well. I've shot some pretty big scores, actually some pretty huge scores with the Desert Tank. I shot my first 800 with it. I shot uh, 826. I went 289, 268, 269, and it, I mean, stayed in the ball the entire time. And then there's other situations where I can't stay in it for an entire block. And then that's when the Flash or the Super will come into play. I've been throwing a lot of the Jackal Flash lately, just because in some of the leagues that I'm bowling now in the winter, we got a lot of high rev rate. So the only way for me to be able to score with them is to get in with them. And I've been scoring fairly well um, for myself with the Jackal Flash. I've been in situations where I've thrown the Desert Tank the entire league night. I've been in situations where I've thrown the Jackal Flash the entire league night. And that goes to say like how well or how good these bowling balls that Motive is making right now. That I've never been able to just st throw it, the same ball for an entire league night and have that confidence that it's always going to come around the corner. It's always going to go through the pins the right way. And that's what I've had for me uh, the last couple weeks, even the last couple months with the Desert Tank and more recently with the Jackal Flash. The big thing for me in league is control. Being able to control the pocket, knowing what your ball is going to do shot to shot. And I think that's why I like the Desert Tank so much. You know what it's going to do every single shot. You know that it's not going to overhook when you miss left. And then when you miss right, it's not going to boom because you're already on top of the friction. You know, a lot of times in league, when you miss right and get into the friction early, the ball wants to just take off. Well, the Desert Tank for me very rarely does it, does it do that. So now we're getting into some of the footage of the Supra and you're gonna see exactly how much longer the Super is than the Desert Tank and even the Jackal Flash, but it still wants to come around the corner. I'll be honest, when I first drilled the Supra, I did not like it one bit. But when I first drilled the Supra back when it came out, I was like really spinning the ball. Now that I'm more up the back and my rev rate has gone up, the Supra and me have become best friends. It's one of those balls where into game three, game four, even more than that, I can get as far left as I want, throw it into the friction, and I know that it's not gonna roll out and it's gonna go through the pins the right way. Having a ball like the Supra in my bag gives me so much confidence with the balls that I start with. Like I know that I can get as far left as I need to with the Jackal Flash, for example, knowing that the Supra is waiting in the bag for when something like the Flash starts to roll out or go through the pins the wrong way or starts to really flat pen, then I know that I can go right into the Supra and trust that the ball is going to get down lane, trust that it's going to come around the corner, and trust that it's going to kick out the 10 pin. Like I said, it's not a ball that I go to all the time. There are a, a lot of situations where I throw the flash for all three or four games in the league or the desert tank all three or four games in the league. But it's one of those things where I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it, if that makes any sense. The Supra doesn't see a whole lot of lane time with me, but when I do go to it, man oh man is it good. So obviously you don't need those exact three balls, the Desert Tank, the Jackal Flash, and the Supra. There are certain balls that you can mix and match with a little bit depending on the volume of oil at your bowling center. So for example, if the Jackal Flash isn't enough, you can go to something like a Jackal Ghost instead or if the Jackal Flash is too much, maybe on the fresh, you can go to something like the Trident Nemesis as a, uh, as a good replacement. And then for the Desert Tank, you can always go to the Tank Blitz, or something that's a little bit stronger of an option, or the Covert Tank as a weaker option. And then something like the Supra is so unique. I mean, you can go to the, like maybe the Ripcord or even the Hydra, but I really think the Supra is like the ultimate game three, game four ball for Lee. All right, folks, there's my perfect three ball bag for league let me know down below in the comments what you guys thought about this video and if you want to see more videos like this in the future click right here to watch one of my older videos click right here to subscribe till next time guys